Johnny Depp gave Heath Ledger's daughter his whole film fee. None of his peers can compare to the legacy Johnny Depp has left. Although he may not have won as many accolades as some of his Hollywood contemporaries, his filmography shows that he is one of the greatest character actors of the modern era. Depp is well known for having a rock and roll attitude in addition to being a Hollywood heartthrob. Depp had goals of becoming successful in show business when he was younger, but his focus was on the music industry. At age 15, he dropped out of school to pursue his dreams of becoming the lead singer and guitarist for the rock group The Kids. Early in the 1980s, Depp was having financial difficulties and his musical endeavors were not succeeding, but things changed when he became friends with actor Nicolas Cage. As Cage got to know Depp better, he noticed some trends that might help Depp develop into quite the performer. In an interview with the New York Times Magazine in 2019, Cage recalled that at that that time in the actor's career, he was at the stage where he was peddling pens or whatever to get by. He would take my money and purchase cocktails without informing me. Later, he admitted it. We were excellent friends, and we used to play Monopoly. One time, I noticed that he was winning, and I suggested that he try acting. Depp objected, saying he couldn't act, and expressed his doubt about the premise. Cage said, I responded, I think you can act. So I arranged for him to meet my agent. His first audition, for A Nightmare on Elm Street, was sent by her. He received the part on that day. Sensations don't appear overnight, but it took place with him. Depp was a Hollywood lister and a well-known decoration for teen bedrooms by the mid-1990s. His musical interests had to take a backseat due to his acting endeavors, but his rock and roll lifestyle seemed to make up for it. Depp was able to maintain his reputation as Hollywood's bad boy, whether it was hanging out with the Gallagher brothers or getting handcuffed over controversial allegations. The media seems to have exaggerated Depp's bad boy side, much like Keith Richards, who Depp modeled his Pirates of the Caribbean role on. We will probably never know just how nasty or violent Depp might have been behind closed doors, despite the fact that he won his legal battle against his ex-wife Amber Heard earlier this year. What is certain, though, is that Depp has repeatedly demonstrated throughout the years that he is a genuine person, albeit a little odd. Most notably, Depp kept his word to Hunter S. Thompson, who served as the inspiration for the character in the 1999 film Fear and loathing in Las Vegas, Thompson committed suicide in 2005, and Depp agreed to pay $3 million for the funeral, which saw the journalist's ashes shot from a huge cannon. At the time, Depp told the Associated Press, all I'm trying to do is make sure his last desire comes true. I simply want to send my friend off in the manner that he chooses. Depp once gave Heath Ledger's daughter the whole salary from one of his films as a gesture of goodwill and fidelity to the late actor. Ledger started work on Terry Gilliam's The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus after making an amazing impression as the Joker in Chris Nolan's The Dark Knight. Along with co-stars Depp, Colin Farrell, Jude Law, and Christopher Plummer, Ledger started working on the movie in 2007. However, he tragically passed away in January 2008 after accidentally overdosing on a prescription medicine, leaving the production in a precarious situation. Depp, Farrell, and Law gave assistance to Gilliam as he fought to find a way for the film to proceed without one of his key characters. In a final touching act of generosity, Depp, Farrell, and Law donated their entire profits from the film to Ledger's daughter Matilda, who was just four at the time, after the movie was finally cancelled due to Ledger's short appearance.